Hi, it is Chris again, without the hat this time. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the, uh, well, basically all of the blocks uh, when you're using a saber-like weapon. Uh, and for the buffer people, it'd be just any kind of one-handed weapon. And when that's all you have. Uh, let me get it. <laughs> Alrighty, this is my, uh, one of my babies. Love it to death. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to turn your body so that your uh, body is halfway, turned halfway, because this is a lot harder target than this, because this is all up here. Uh, keep your sword out in front of you. You're gonna want to have your hilts guarding your elbow. Uh, and then the sword horizontally, kind of like in between your two eyes. You see that there? Uh, again, always want to have your sword in between you and your opponent. Uh, if you're doing collegiate uh, saber fighting, you're going to want to have your arm back here for balance, and you're going to throw it out whenever you do a lunge uh, or a thrust like that. Obviously, I didn't move this because I don't have room. But uh, if you're doing buffer kind of fighting, uh, you're going to want it up here to protect your chest your neck, and your head. Um, so there's that. Um, I wish I could show you my footwork right now, but I'm not going to move the camera. Uh, the first the first kind of uh, attack is going to be attack uh, to the head. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, extend and bring it down. Uh, you're not going to want to do that in most buffer fighting because most places like Dago here and Amtgard uh, don't allow hits to the head, which is completely understandable. Um, if you have the correct armor for it, though, you can go ahead and do it. You can make up your own rules if you're not with your group. Um, don't suggest it, though. That's the basic attack. Uh, basic block is, depending on where the attack is coming from, the attack is coming from over here. Uh, it's a very simple block. Just move it over here and have the edge of the blade pointing towards the sword that's coming into you. So from here, that's block one. And always keep it up. You don't want to extend it like that. Just keep it up. One. The other one is very simple. Just come from the other side. Two. You see how it is pointing out, and it covers my whole right, uh, my whole right side of two. Would probably look like the left side. So just one, two, three. It's very simple. Try and keep your arm as straight as you possibly can. Mine's not that straight, but it just goes down and out to the side, and it, as you can see it covers my leg. Uh, and my whole that side there. And then four is like it. You turn, it's like that. It's just go on the other side. Very, very simple. Uh, the one that I see most often, most often uh, used or done incorrectly uh, is number five, and that is when you're guarding your head. You want to have it above your head. You want to have your arm straight and inside. And then you're going to want your blade's slightly curved up. You don't want it up like this because that's not going to block anything. And you don't want it too down because if it is, it's just going to come up right up, up there. Uh, so you want it slightly bent so that when the sword hits, it slides down and catches at the hilt, at which point you will have control of their sword. Uh, and then after this, there's something called a repost. This is what a parry is. This is a first parry, a first block. Uh, so I just parried. The sword has now come down here. I now have control of it, and I can tell it where to go, repose, and I attack back, uh, and when doing really fast, and when you're fighting someone that knows what they're doing, uh, yeah, it's, they can, they can parry it again, but again, uh, once, once it's parried, once it's down here, I have control, I have the upper hand, you want to get that swing around and that attack back as fast as you can.